Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash with From Bedroom to Banger and welcome back to my channel. I usually make videos about making music, but if you've been watching my channel, then you might find yourself ready to release a few songs. Congratulations, that's a huge freaking step. Got a bunch of songs, you're ready to show the world. You don't know how to do it? Well, don't worry. Your boy Ash is here to help marketing, how to release your single, or how to release an album, EP, how to release your music. Back in 2015, my friend Paul and I started a duo called Na Mean. When we came together, we wanted to approach music release differently because we had a lot of songs. We wrote a lot of music together. We wanted to do it smart, different than how we used to do it in our previous projects. So today I want to share exactly what we did and and hopefully it gives you some ideas on how to release your music. The first thing we did was to do proper goal setting. When I say goal setting, most artists have generic ones like I want to get signed or I want to get picked up by a manager or I want to get 50,000 plays. Those are great. They're a great way to get started. But you need to ask yourself what are the goals you need to get before you achieve those things give yourself more realistic expectations, smaller milestones on your way to get signed, on your way to get a manager. That's cool and all, you're probably asking, hey, so what types of goals then should I be setting? You have to think of it from a more business mindset. I know we're all creatives, I know we like to make music, we like to make art, but a side of our brain has to be a little bit business oriented. So the first goal was to find listeners and then convert them to the concept of true fan. The person that will listen to whatever you put out, no matter what, anytime you put out merch, anytime you put out a video, this person is there. That's what we were trying to achieve. So once again, we've taken this goal of getting manager, getting signed, getting listens, and then bringing it down to, okay, what's the step before that? Well, we need to create fans true fans. And a good way to measure it is through followers on Spotify. That was the metric that we decided to go with because a follow on Spotify is very, very important. That's someone deciding, hey, I really like this artist. It's not like on social media where you follow that and you kind of get a feed of photos or whatever. On Spotify, they're hearing your music. If a person follows you on Spotify, you show up on their release radar anytime you release music. That's the biggest reason why we wanted to do Spotify. This may change in a couple years. Point is, you have to find a goal that's measurable that you can see results from immediately so that you know that somebody really cares about your music. And then you can check to see if they're also following on your social media. They're always attending your live streams, attending your shows, buying your concert tickets, buying your merch. That's a great first goal to get. And then from there you go, what do I do to achieve that? <laughs> so you bring it down again to another goal. And for us, to get a true fan, we had to figure out what our target audience is. There's no right or wrong way to figure out your target audience. Check this group of people and see if they'll enjoy your music. Maybe think of who would be the ideal listener of your music. You never know what your target audience is gonna be. And you might be right or you might be completely wrong. You might find an unexpected audience in something else, similar to and then just a little tip. A good place to start is people who listen to similar music, but you have to be careful. Don't confuse your influences with your target audience. For example, I'm influenced by a lot of emo music like My Chemical Romance, Mayday Parade, Pop Punk, The Story So Far, Four Years Strong, tons of bands, but that exact fan base is not gonna resonate with 80s synth pop trap music. Find what's similar to your sound and then work from there. And a great way to figure this out is through Instagram and Facebook ads. This is something that Namin used with Facebook and Instagram, you can define the age, location, interests. But the only problem that we found with Facebook marketing was once you stopped putting money into it, it stopped giving us results. So unless you find that balance of naturally gaining fans and getting the ball rolling, you can organically grow your audience that way. And then a third thing that we did is we planned all of our releases. Use an app like a calendar. Essentially what we did was we made sure that we had build up to a release. What I used to do when I finished a song, I was super excited about it. As soon as I was done, I would just hit upload, put it on SoundCloud, and wait for the plays to roll in. 
do that anymore. So a good rule of thumb is to plan your releases four weeks in advance. Using a distributor like today's sponsor DistroKid, you can upload your songs and schedule them for a release. This way you can build up excitement for the single. Also set up a pre-save link, which is really, really important because it allows people to get excited for the song and they'll get a notification as soon as the song is released. And a great way to do that is with my friends at DistroKid. They have this amazing feature called Hyperfollow. It gives you a link that you never have to update. It stays the same. It allows the listener to just pick whatever service they use. And the more important part about that is that it lets you pre-save as soon as your single goes live or your release goes live, those pre-save links automatically switch over to live links to the song. It's pretty freaking cool. So when you have that link sent out, upload your song to DistroKid, schedule it four weeks in advance, and then have it ready for pre-save and you can have people get excited for your music or anytime you have an additional piece of content, that page is linked to it. And this is totally free. It's included with your DistroKid subscription. Add all your socials to it and additional sites like Bandcamp, YouTube if you have a video. It's really easy to find. It's just on your artist page and you just click on hyperfollow over here. Like I said, schedule your releases, gives you a buffer in case anything goes wrong. You can build a world around the release. And in addition to having all this content, that will also help you drive traffic to your pre-save link. And the more pre-save links you get, the more likely it's gonna get picked up by the streaming services algorithm and then suggest your music to other listeners and it'll snowball from there. After your song gets released, you might want to have even more additional content. For example, you could do stuff like an acoustic version of your song. You could do a performance video. You could have a photo shoot. Maybe reach out to video creators and see if they want to use your music in their videos. This doesn't have to just be Facebook and Instagram ads, of course. You have to get creative. Like this is what we use in order to get the ball rolling, but I feel like it's actually more important to build organic, natural fans, engaged fans. So it's essentially like a combination. There's tons of things you can do. Make a meme video if that's what your target audience will resonate with. Get creative with it because every so often stuff changes. So you have to be five steps ahead and think how I can get my music in front of people. It's not just the standard, oh, let me find a manager, let me find a team, let me find a label and they'll do all the work for me. Not in this day and age, not anymore. You gotta get creative and you could even start a YouTube channel and potentially show people how to make music and um, maybe they'll even eventually check out your music but don't know when. The bottom line is no matter what you do, as long as you're giving some kind of value to your listeners, to your fans, then you'll see success. If you like what I'm doing, please, please like, subscribe to the channel. It's free. If you want to support the channel, I've got my Patreon. Shout out, boom, to the true homies. Y'all are the real ones. Follow me on Twitch. I go live now. That will be a thing that we do. You can hang out there, ask me more questions about music. We can work on productions. I'll do song feedback. We're all just hanging out. Other than that, that's all I got for you today. So I'm going to say peace out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.